In this video, you'll learn how to create a OneNote class notebook with Schoology. Let's get started. In the first step, we'll need to install the OneNote class notebook app in Schoology. So how do we do that? First, in the top right of your screen, you'll see four squares. You'll want to click there. When you click there, you'll see App Center. Click there. App Center shows all of the different apps that you can use with Schoology. You might recognize a few. We are going to look for the OneNote Class Notebook app. When you find it, click it. And then on this page, click Install LTI App. Then click Agree. After that, click the course where you would like to add your OneNote class notebook. Many teachers just add it to all of their courses. When you're done, click Install. Now it's been installed on all of your courses, but we need to set it up. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is visit your course. So here's a course where I installed the OneNote Class Notebook app. On the left side of your screen, you see all the different buttons to click. At the bottom is the OneNote Class Notebook. Click there. It'll ask you to sign in. You might have to type in your email and then log in with your username and password. For this part, you could just click Next through everything. You can add your co-teacher if you want as well. Although with Schoology, your co-teacher is probably already inside it. And where do you get the students' names from? Well, it's from Schoology. So it already picked it for you. Just click Next. Here, you can decide what goes in students' personal spaces. And you can choose from handouts, class notes, homework, quizzes, or hey, just make up your own. So I wrote other notes. Then click Next. It gives you a little preview of what it'll look like for you and your students. When you're done, click Create. You'll wait a little bit. It will set up the course, note, the class notebook for you. It always advertises you the option to download the class notebook add-in. It gives you additional features, um, which are very helpful if you um, are using a OneNote class notebook. And now you have a choice between opening in OneNote the program or in OneNote Online. If you want it to sync with your computer's program, click open in OneNote. But right now, I'm just going to open in OneNote Online to show you what it looks like. And as it loads, you see that the collaboration space and content library are already there. As your students join the course, you'll begin to see their names below. In each of the names, you'll see that all of those sections you made before, the handouts, the quizzes, the other notes, all that stuff, they'll be in each and every individual student's personal private space. Now let's learn how do students join. When the student visits their Schoology course, they will also see the OneNote Class Notebook button on the left side, just like the teacher. So for this first time, they'll have to click it, and then they'll be asked to log in. Here, I wasn't asked to log in. If you already are logged in, you're all good. So if you're new, you would have to log in with an email, and then it will ask you for a username and password. When you finish logging in, you'll have the choice to open in OneNote or in OneNote Online. Your students, the first time, should click to open in OneNote. They can let it load and sync the first time they use it. You don't necessarily need to teach the lesson that day. Focus on just establishing the sync. 
and when they join, you'll begin to see their names below the collaboration space and content library. After all the students are in, you can begin to push out different assignments to them into their different sections. And with those three steps, that's how you make a OneNote class notebook with Schoology.